Hi everyone! Um, you currently have hit this video because you are looking for a tutorial on the Halo Couture extensions. A uh, brief little story on Halo Couture. They are a great company that I had stumbled upon after being diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, they shaved half the side of my head. My hair was like this long on one side and obviously shaved on the other side. Um, and I was miserable. I hated it. I got a lot of compliments, you know, people, oh, that looks great, whatever. It feels good when people say those things, but then you also end up explaining your story, and sometimes you just don't want to. Um, obviously my hair is really short right now. Um, uh, after my brain surgery, I ended up having an unsuccessful removal of my brain tumor, so I went through radiation and my hair fell out in patches. Not all of it, um, it was like along the sides here, pretty bad, and like up through this top part here, so basically I ended up just like kind of 2007 Britney went crazy, shaped my head basically, besides the little bit I had here. Um, and I was sad, I wanted my hair. I wanted long hair. I wanted it to, to myself. The long hair made me feel pretty and not that short hair is ugly in any way, shape, or form. It just, it's, I, I like long hair. Um, and Halo Couture is a non-damaging, it's not stressful to your hair. They're a great company to work with. Um, and I'm really glad I found them. They have basically given me my confidence back and uh, nobody knows when I'm wearing my extensions. So I'm going to explain to you how I'm about to go from two and a half, three inches of hair to a 20 inch layered extension, um, virtually undetectable. So what I start with is this is a halo, a 20 inch layered halo. Um, as you can see, there's like a little fishing line type thing here. That's the headband, the invisible headband. Um, there's adjustable little closures here that are kind of like a, I guess a bra, um, and you can adjust it to the size of your head. Really comfortable to wear. It does take a little bit of getting used to. I, I won't tell you it doesn't, um, if you haven't worn extensions before. Um, but I start out with this. You'll need your extension. Um, you will need a tail comb. Actually, Halo Couture sends you a tail comb in each box of extensions and an additional headband. Um, although I've been wearing mine for like a year and I've only replaced my headband once, so um, pretty sturdy things. This is a um, number 60. It's their Violet Platinum Blonde, um, and it is so easy. Oh yeah, I was going to show you beforehand. I do not have like hair back here. Um, this is finally growing out here. Um, I have some scars on the side of my head from surgery and stuff. Um, but yeah, so you take your halo, headband right here, make sure it's adjusted to your head. It should fit snug, but it should not hurt. Um, and you want to set it like maybe an inch behind your part line, or I'm sorry, your front of your hairline. And Make sure it's below your occipital bone back here, which is that bone in the back of your head. Um, and then what you do, make sure it's even on both sides. Um, I actually like to turn mine a little bit more this way, um, where I have like more hair, uh, because I usually tend to like to have my shaved side show, um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn it like this so that you can see it is virtually undetectable. Then you take your tail comb, flop your little bits of hair over the top, um, super quick, super easy. Make sure you don't have any loops, any knots in your hair, um, comb it out. And people who have longer hair, they don't need this second piece that I'm about to show you guys um, because it tends to just kind of flop over the top and I didn't need the second piece until the top of my hair really started to fall out I used to be able to just like flop what I had over the top and it I had layered it up a little bit myself so that 
it blended. Um, but as you can see, I look very Joe Dirt mullet right now. Um, and you're probably thinking, yeah, right. But yeah, right, I'm about to show you my short hair disappearing. So, next piece is the fall. It looks like this. It has four clips, very sturdy. Um, this is a fall in the number 60. I actually rooted it, which means I took like what my natural root color is, and I just very lightly and very thin sections took it. You can take it to your hairstylist to do that if you're not a hairstylist and they'll know what that means. If not, take this video and feel free to show them. Make sure all your clips are open. You don't need to tease your hair or anything for this. This is great for people with thinner hair or in my case, short hair. Um, you then will, I like to clip mine a little bit off center, not so much like right in the middle of my part um, and I will explain why in a second. So make sure all four clips are secure and yes they do clip to the very very short hair that I have um, and it does not slide it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. Um, these are some secure extensions and clips. Um, make sure you have all the hair out from your section when you clip it down. So then just clip. Okay, so voila. Then you can take your comb, comb it out a little if you would like to. Okay, so I have long hair, just like that. Like I never had short hair. People see me all the time. They have no idea that this isn't my hair, and they assume that the possibility is maybe I just have extensions in my long hair that makes it thicker, or um, so on and so forth. You cannot virtually tell at all. Um, I get compliments all the time, anywhere I go. You have beautiful hair. Oh my gosh, is your hair real? Oh my gosh, can I touch it? And I get so excited because I've had short hair or no hair for ongoing of two years now and it has made me lose a lot of confidence and that's not something any girl ever wants. Any woman, any man, any person in general. Um, I also wanted to show you quickly, when you do, like, say if you for some reason have a shaved head, that's in right now. Like, that is the, that's trendy, I guess. So basically what I end up doing then is I, if you saw, I turned the extension so it is farther up on this side. It is pretty far up there. Um, flop the hair over like this and then I'll just like tuck it or I will wear it like this on one side and people have no idea. They're just like, oh my gosh, it's a super cool shave side thing. Coolest thing about these extensions, um, or the fall, I should say, is being virtually undetectable means when I am wherever, I can go like this. I can flop my hair like it's my natural hair. And sometimes when I have like a really cute tap on or something, I have tons of these headbands. Tons. You can get them at Walmart, Target, anywhere. Um, and you take them, snap it on, cute little boho chic style, nobody knows, nobody knows at all. So that is my tutorial on how easy it is to install Halo Couture extensions and um, the fall from Halo Couture. And I just want to say thanks to Leah at Halo Couture. She's the best. Um, I work with her personally to get my extensions for the salon that I sell. Um, and thanks to your company for giving me back. Um, have a good day, everyone.